today we are at the range and we're going to show you how to use the ballistic calculator profile with a scope without an LRF together with a handheld unit and LRF. There's a couple of things you can do from home and there's a previous video on the information that you could add to the ballistic profile before you hit the range. But what we're going to be doing now is we're going to collect weather data and the muzzle velocities from the particular ammunition that we're using to confirm the data that we need to complete the profile. And when we've done that, we're going to upload to the scope and then we'll be shooting a thousand meters on a target that's one meter wide and 50 centimeters high. So first step, we open the uh, Stream Vision Ballistics app, we choose our profile, and then we enter the values that we have. 25 degrees Celsius outside, air pressure is 29.25, and humidity is 68%. So we'll be entering that. So we've, we've gotten as far as we can right now. So the next thing we need to complete this is the muscle velocity. So we'll start shooting for a bit, send about 10 rounds down range, get the average speed, and then enter that into the app. Okay, we've done the muscle velocities and we have an average about 811 meters per second. So we're gonna be entering that into the ballistics app. So now the profile is complete. We are ready to upload our ballistic profile to our Thermion rifle scope. Make sure that the Bluetooth function in the scope is active and in the phone. We need to go into the Bluetooth symbol here, short press and activate. And then when we've done that, you go down to Bluetooth pairing for stream vision ballistic, short press. And now in the app, you go to devices, connect device, continue, connect. And as you're doing that, you shall see a code 8191 and connect. And now they are connecting. And we have a successful connection. So now I press the little arrow on the right hand side of the blue Bluetooth symbol. And I can see my different pro uh, my profile. And we want to upload the uh, ballistic profile to the B profile because that's the one that's zeroed. So when I get to the B profile, you see a red little square with red arrows and you press that now i can choose the profile that i set up in my phone in this case the hmr six and a half creedmoor press that and now it's uploading the profile to the scope and what you now can see in the scope down in the left hand corner it says 6.5 cm for creedmoor so the ballistic calculator is now ready and active and we can start using it so when, now when you're in the field we have a new ballistic profile in the rifle for this rifle, this ammunition in particular. Next thing is distance to the target. So we have a great tool in the Oryx XG50 LRF and that's the new laser range finder which has 1500 meters of range finding from this laser, well improved over the older models. Point the Oryx at the target, activate the LRF and take a measurement and it's showing 1,007 meters to the target. Target size, as I said, is one meter by half a meter. We have very little winds right now, so the scope will account for spin drift by itself. And I'm gonna give it maybe a little bit extra just because of the additional winds that we have down range. And we're ready to take a test shot to see if the ballistic calculator is tracking true and giving us the right data. So before we take this shot, there's one additional thing that we need to do. We need to enter the distance in the scope manually. So we press a short press on the menu button, get the menu on the right hand side. We toggle through it till we get to the ballistics and then we enter the distance manually. So I'm gonna enter 1000 meters. There we go, 1000. And as you can see, now we have a red little X, but I want to change that to make it a bit more visible. So we're going to go into the main menu. Go to ballistics. And the suggested point of aim mark type, short press. And I go down to this line. 
save that with short press, back out by long pressing. And now, I can zoom in. As much as I think is necessary. Oh, and we do also want to uh, change the reticle. I'm not a fan of this one. So you go to reticle zeroing, reticle type. Choose, I choose the M57FI because that is a scalable mill dot reticle. And as you can see now, you have basically two reticles. The top one is your 100 meter zero, if you zero to 100, and the bottom one is my new 1000 meter. So we're ready to take the shot. And we have a first round impact. A 1000 meters held slightly to the left of the target, good impact. If you do all these steps, and you confirm all the data, get the right information, the, the physics is physics. The calculator will track true. If you enter information that is not, not confirmed, muscle velocity from the box, that will most definitely or most probably be very far from what you're actually getting out of your rifles. You need to confirm it. Same thing with the BC. In this case, the BC and the speed has been very, very accurate from what it is on the box. But test everything. If you have the right muzzle velocity and you have all the right weather data and you're getting weird impact shifts that are not true, it might be the BC that you need to tweak. But do these steps and you will get really, really good results. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.